Hi everyone, Sean and Danny from Drones Under Podcast. We've had a bit of a break. A third season back, Danny. I wouldn't really call it a break. We've been pretty busy. That's why we haven't been recording anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true, true. We do have lives. We do have jobs to do in our day, daytime. So we're out in the field today. We're going to come to why we're going to do that in a minute. Danny, what have you been up to? 2023? Mate, a lot of drone flights. Clocking up those flight hours. Um, yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same as what you've been doing. Obviously the air show, mate. <laughs> Oh, the air show, the awesome air show, of course. Air show. That was awesome. There's a lot of jets, a lot of, uh, lot of ears ringing. Still can't hear properly after that one, but you know, that is old age. That was bloody awesome. That, <laughs> that was awesome. What was the, um, the Korean guy, um, flights? I forget, the uh, Black... Uh, Black Angels? Black Angels. That's the one, that's they the were, one. They were great. They were loud. The F-22s. Yeah, the F-35s. Uh, the F-35s. old Hercules come in. I can't remember any of the other acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was an awesome um, few days together, I think, and bumped into a lot of a lot of guys. That's it. Um, yeah, so it's, we're really excited. I think this year we've said we want to do a bit more field work rather than sitting on our Zoom and talking like to this, each other. What better place than a field? <laughs> <laughs> and we're fortunate you're you're here this weekend um, in Melbourne, helping yeah. um, us at Air Inspect get some uh, complex work done. So why not? quickly smash out a, an episode so here we are exactly so you know what i'm here for a commercial operation so uh what better way to talk about how to get into commercial operations i guess and essentially what you got to do yeah so, so today um we're gonna be talking about basic mapping using a mavic 3 enterprise right yeah exactly so let me grab that so actually those who don't know what it looks like so obviously very small yep. form factor yep. pretty much the mavic 3 yep um, and the Mavic 3 Thermal. So in my hand, I've got the, the, the Mavic 3 Enterprise, which we did an episode on launch last year, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, 20 megapixel camera, main thing is mechanical shutter. It's compatible with the RTK module. Yep. So you're going to get that really juicy GSD uh, accuracy. Um, comes with the smart, uh, smart remote, enterprise remote. Yep, I'll grab that one. There you yeah. go. Enterprise remote, uh, pretty much the same as the other ones. It's just got all the DJI Pilot apps in it. But it doesn't have the uh, the battery that we have in the exactly. M300. The M300, the joy is you have the WB37 batteries on the back of it, plus a built-in battery. But it does the job. Yeah, definitely agree. And we can obviously record on the controller, which is great. So, um, and we'll, we'll get some tight shots of the actual top of this so we can show you where the other modules go. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, great form factor, obviously batteries. Um, mm-hmm. I think 77 watt hours. Yeah. So you can definitely carry it on a plane. Which is the joy uh, compared to the M300 that this is a very portable setup where the M300, you're lugging around the BS60 battery case plus the drone, plus the payloads and the RTK obviously base station, which you know, you're gonna fill the back of the whole car. Yeah, so there it is, completely folded up. It's great. Nice. Um, and as we all know, I love my Phantom 4, <laughs> and Danny doesn't. <laughs> Mavic all the way. <laughs> so um, with mapping, Danny, mm-hmm. I think one of the reasons we were excited about this was um, 15 metres per second because it's got a 0.7 um, of a second shutter speed. Yep. Um, I don't think we're going to quite do that today. We won't be testing that high speed out. It's only a small area. It's a small area. <laughs> Um, but yeah, certainly the options there, something like an M300, obviously much larger drone, mm-hmm. um, the lowest shutter speed, sorry, the lowest um, uh, timer is one second. It is 0.7 seconds now on one of the 7? updates mid okay. last year. There you go, I'm corrected. There so you got the latest uh, firmware? I can, I can read the manual. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning all the time, aren't we? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Um, but I guess the main thing we're going to show today is We've always said how to get into mapping and the commercial side of the industry, where the Mavic Enterprise, yes, is still about a seven to eight thousand dollar drone, but you can use your say your minis and your other Mavics and your Phantoms with say automated flight apps. We'll show you how to essentially plan one of these apps for what will be just a basic area for this one. Yeah, and, and um, I guess the good thing is buying something for seven eight thousand you don't need any third party software exactly um, don't have to, it's it is pretty much on the controller so that's a great option for you but like danny said if you're getting started you want to spend that kind of money you've got an option yeah. as well so right. cool so let's uh let's get flying danny sounds great <laughs>
Well, everybody, that was a pretty awesome uh, quick mapping mission uh, demo. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Uh, Sean, what are the main three tips we can uh, tell our viewers? I think um, overlap for sure. So front and side, 75, 75. Nice, simple figure to, um, to remember. Mm -hmm. Then white balance. Yep. So again, um, either select cloudy or sunny, depending on what's happening. And uh, keep your camera settings at auto. It's, yep. Again, keep it simple for you. So if you focus on those three things, you'll, you'll definitely make some great progress uh, each time you get out there in the field. Awesome. Thanks everyone for listening. Catch you on the next one. See you guys. Yeah, that's all right.